Hi uh, guys, Dane here, and today I am here to take the New Year book tag. I got it right, okay. I was like, is it the New Year new book tag? New me, new me, new me, me, new me, me, new me. But it's not, it is the New Year book tag. Nobody seems to know who actually made this tag. I've seen a bunch of different people take it, but nobody's managed to link to the original, and I searched for it and couldn't find them. But I was tagged by Madman Reads and Rocks. Here is a little clip of him tagging me. And uh, Dane Cobain. Another pretty cool booktuber. And basically, I have a bunch of books, as always, and there are a bunch of questions. I'm going to go through them, and I'm going to tag some people at the end. So let's do this. I kind of have to edit and post this now, otherwise it's totally irrelevant and, you know, a waste of time. <laughs> Question one. How many books are you planning to read in 2018? So I have a Goodreads goal. I know a lot of people have been setting it to one, for example, just so that there's no pressure. I personally don't feel any pressure to try and achieve that goal, so in previous years I've just sort of set it and forget it, but my goal is 200 books, and that's just what it was last year. I think I did 249 or something in the end. I've set it as that, and then I, I, I I'll just see how it goes. I usually totally forget about it, and then in like November I get a notification being like, you've met your book goal. And I'm like, yay, I wasn't even trying to. <laughs> Question number two, name five books that you didn't get to this year, but want to make a priority in 2018. So I have some of these. So the first one is uh, book one in the Book of Dust. So La Belle Sauvage by Philip Pullman. And basically this is, uh, it, it, they're called equal novels. So they're set at the same time as his Dark Materials. And uh, that trilogy was my favourite trilogy of all time, so I really do want to read this, but I've also kind of been putting it off because I'm scared I might not like it and it'll just disappoint me, so... But I will get to it soon. Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. So I'm going to be doing a buddy read of this with Graham Quigley and Angela Hart from Books of My Heart, both of them here on Booktube. And we're going to be reading this in, in February. Obviously everyone else has kind of already read it by now and the movie's coming out soon. But, uh, you know, we haven't, so <laughs> so we're going to read it. City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare. So last year I read City of Bones. That's literally the only Cassandra Clare book that I've read, but I did really enjoy it. So I want to try and finish off the, uh, the, the Mortal Instruments series. So I'm going to be reading City of Ashes with Kit Kats Can Read again, kind of start of February. And also I think uh, Damien Tariquez, I think that's how you say his name, I was chatting to him as well and he happens to be on exactly the same book and wants to do the exact same thing in 2018 of trying to read them. So me and him we might kind of buddy read and try and try and catch up with this series. Number four, I don't actually own it but it's on its way and that's Turtles All The Way Down by John Green. Again, big new release, everyone was going mental about it. And number five is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. So I actually have no idea when this, this was published. I don't think it was a particularly recent release. But everyone's kind of read it. And I haven't read it, but I do own it. Question number three. What genre do you want to read more of? So I'm odd in that I read like most different genres. So there's no particular genre I want to read more of. One thing I do want to do is I want to read more new releases and I guess specifically 2018 books because I always tend to be a, a bit late to the party. And part of that is because I wait for people to buy books and then donate them to secondhand shops and then I buy and read them. But I guess in 2018 it would be good to be more sort of on trend and read some more books that come out this year. Question number four. Name three non-book related goals for 2018. So, actually, I, this is totally cheating, but this is not reading related, but it is writing related. And that is to release at least two books of my own. So one of them, Driven, is coming out soon, if you haven't heard me mention that. Um, so I'd like to release that and at least one more other book. But I guess that is book related, but you're just going to have to accept that because I can't think of any <laughs> any other things. Um, number two is to move to a new house. So a slightly bigger house with more room for books and more space for the cat to run around. Hopefully a little office because at the moment I, I work from home, but I work from my living room. Hence all my videos being filmed here on the sofa. And number three is just make it through the year. So, I mean, I suppose that's pretty bleak, but yeah, it'd be good 
be good to make it through the year and, and to get to 2019 and to still be healthy, still be reading. I say still be healthy, I'm actually filming this with a hangover right now, in case you're wondering why my voice sounds a bit croaky, but yes. Yeah, that, that's it. Alright. Question number five. What's a book you've had forever that you still need to read? So for this I've gone for Stephen King, Nightmares and Dreamscapes. And the reason I picked this one specifically is for another tag a little while back. I can't remember which one, but I had to go into my Goodreads and see which of my books from my TBR shelf have been on my TBR shelf for the longest. And it was this one. I've had it since about... I don't know, 2010, 2012 or something. So I really need to get to it. <laughs> Question six. One word that you're hoping 2018 will be. Productive. Why am I still doing this? Question seven. Tag a friend. All right, I am going to tag, read or rot, Todd the Librarian, and time for books. But honestly, if you're watching and you want to do this, feel free to do it. Equally, if I just tagged you and you're like, no, Dane, I'm not going to do it. It's too late to do a New Year book tag, which it kind of is, but we're just going to roll with it. What are you doing, cat? <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah. So on that note, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment to let me know what you think of these choices. Let me know if you want to read any of these books with me this year. And uh, yeah, if you want to, that will probably probably encourage me to get to them more more quickly than I would otherwise have done. And in the meantime, please do hit subscribe if you'd like to see more Buckish videos, and I'll see you in another one soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.